The only knife to have an entire museum dedicated to it, invented in 1890 and now selling over 15 million pieces annually, Pablo Picasso is said to have used an Opinel knife as a sculpting tool. And this knife was recognized by the Victoria and Albert Museum in 1985 as one of the best designed items in history, alongside the Porsche 911 and the Rolex watch. More on my Rolex later. This world famous icon comes in at a whopping $19 in the US. It's also remained largely unchanged for over a century, but that doesn't mean the modern day designers at Opinel haven't been putting their little thingies in the knife and innovating it. And they have some very cool ideas. So today we're looking at 11 of my favorite toys, things I can't live without, what have you. Hey everyone, Michael here, and today also, we- Also, oh, sorry. Hey Michael, love your videos. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Today we're looking at 11 of my favorite toys ever in the world. And I think it's gonna be a good video because let me tell you something, I got a lot of cool toys. Also, usually I like to go on location and go outside, but my apartment's a mess. So today we're gonna be cleaning up my apartment and looking at all the toys inside of it. It should be a good video, I think, who knows? The reason I have to clean my apartment is because in three days I'm flying to Denmark to see my first favorite thing, my girlfriend Taylor, but the first favorite thing of this video is this knife. This knife is called the Carter. It's from the James brand. To be honest, I don't really know that much about knives yet. I'm starting to get into them now. So I don't know a lot about steel yet. I don't know a lot about handles and locks and all that, but I do like this knife. It gets the job done and it's aging very cool. Some of the black is coming off of the steel, which I really like. I got this for free from Huckberry. Most of the things on the list today aren't free and they're not affiliate links or anything. They're just things that I like, but you can see them all in the carrot link in my description if you're interested. I keep it with me every day and a lot of knives I have don't have this like pocket pocket clip, which makes it way more convenient. Also, I really want the Hell Gap from the James brand. I think that knife looks so sick. I have no need for a giant knife to put on my belt like that, but man, oh man, I'd love to cut apples or something with it, you know? <laughs> I don't, I tried to journal and write things down every day and I never keep up with it, but three years ago, I got Taylor one of these for her birthday and it's amazing. And I got it for Taylor because Taylor was the only person I knew would do it every day no matter what, and she did. And what's amazing is when you look at this book, one page represents five years. So the page is broken up into five different sections, like January 1st, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027. You go through the book five times and now Taylor's on the third year and what's happening is she's like, oh, well, on this day, on January 1st, we were getting ice cream in Concord, Massachusetts. Then the next year, you were helping me move into New York. Then the next year, we were both crying outside of my apartment because I was moving to Denmark. It's amazing. You definitely have, in five years, huge things happening. So my old wallet, or the wallet that I was using as of like three weeks ago, was from a brand called Simply Carbon Fiber. And I like that wallet and I switched to that wallet because my credit cards would never fall out. But the downside was my credit cards got destroyed with that wallet. So anyways, Bronson of Bronson Leatherworks watches the Iron Snail and he sent me a handmade wallet that he makes. So I switched over to that and it's been great. I'm also looking at the Ship John Foley wallet. I really like that one because it has a closure so I could hide my cards and then it has a quick, fast access section in case I gotta put cash in there on a getaway or something like that. And having multiple wallets and rotating through them, not a problem for me. I have plenty of Pokemon cards that I could just fill hundreds of wallets in. I have a ton of Pokemon cards from when I was a kid. I really like small square things you could fit in your hand for I don't know why. I'm really not kidding when I say I like little, small, rectangular things that fit in my hands. So I really like soap, and the soap that I've been on lately is Sterling Soap, made in Arkansas, all natural, comes in like 50,000 different smells, so I always get a different smell. It comes in seasonal collections. Very cool, don't worry, it's very masculine soap. No messing around with soap here. So definitely recommend you check them out. Very cool stuff. Okay, so this next subject I can't really talk about too much because I work for a watch YouTube channel, but the subject is watches. I wear my Rolex Explorer a bunch. I got this the day before I drove to Canada to get the Iron Snail Prologue jacket, and that was awesome. And then I jumped in the water with Brandon of Naked and Famous and broke it, and then got it fixed. I do have a watch collection. I don't know when I'll talk about it, but if I do, it'll probably be on the Theo and Harris YouTube channel, not mine. So tune in there, but again, I have no idea when that'll happen. 
Hello everyone, my name is Mikey. Again, as you know, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. You probably need a website or domain and you probably need one very, very soon because it's coming. Squarespace makes it incredibly easy to start a website from scratch with their thousands upon thousands of themes. And what makes that even better is if you wanna update a theme, you can do that very, very easily through Squarespace. And if you think, I don't like this theme, I wanna refresh my website, that is also easier than putting my shoes on. And you may be thinking, I don't need a website, I'm just a photographer or a writer or a blogger or an aspiring content creator or a business owner or just someone that has a job and has a resume and sometimes needs to or wants to switch that job. Well, guess what? You've thought wrong for your entire life. You need a website now more than ever and Squarespace is the place to do that. Would you think I was a legit creator if I didn't have the ironsnail.us or if I didn't have my YouTube channel? Probably not. So why don't you have a website? It's 2023 and it's never been easier with Squarespace. So if you want 10% off a website or domain, you can use the link in my description and sign up today and you won't regret it, I promise. I have to go pretend I'm going somewhere for this video, so see you later. No! Check in my mail. Quick pause, quick pause of the video. I just got woolen samples from Woven in the Bone. The, for the mammoth jacket. Okay, really quick, this is three of the samples made by Woven in the Bone, one of the best wool makers in the entire world. She works out of a small shed and makes everything by hand. I have to pick out which one I want. We're gonna dye it a different color, but it's meant to look like tree bark. Also, you probably know this already, but since I work in the world of watches, I have a lot of access to watches, so I have different watches on all the time. But also, I have a little thing, well, I'll tell you about my little thing in a second. I really like digital watches too. For some reason, I always find it really hard to buy one versus other fancier watches. Like, this is my G-Shock DW5600, and I love it. I got it my sophomore year in college, so I've had it for seven years, and I said in college, when the back battery dies, I'm gonna get a Solar Atomic DW5600, but it hasn't died yet. And I don't know if it ever will, going on seven years. But also, Huckberry just sent me the Iron Man Flix, which is a collaboration between Huckberry and Timex, where Huckberry really just reintroduced kind of an iconic watch from the 90s. It wasn't in the 90s, but when I worked at the YMCA, there was this old man that swam laps every morning in the pool. He always wore a Timex Iron Man, and I always thought that was cool. So I have one now, and usually if I do a workout in the morning or if I go for a walk or something like that, I like to not bring my phone or Apple Watch and anything like that. I like to just not have any technology with me, but it is fun to have a watch that has a little personality with its beeps and boops. Okay, I won't go super into technology because last time I checked, this is an MKBHD. This is my setup right now. iPhone 13, 14 inch MacBook Pro, M1 Max, 64 gig RAM. And then I have my iPad M1, which I had in my last EDC video. It was way less important then than it is now because now that I'm designing clothes and logos and everything like that, I use the Apple Pencil and the iPad all the time. Here's a little preview of the mammoth jacket that I drew on the iPad. Coming soon, the sample is being made. Should be ready in about a month. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Cameras, this goes both way, professional and for fun. A lot of you ask me what I shoot these videos on. It's a Sony a7S III mixed with 99.9% .9 of the time, a Sigma 24-70 art lens. One of the things I'm actually really sentimental about is the lens that this video is being filmed on because for the past almost three years, I have filmed everything on that lens seven days a week. If someone stole that lens, I'd be really sad. I shoot film only for fun when I'm not working, but this is my Leica M4P and then this is my Pentax Spotmatic SP2. The Spotmatic is actually an amazing camera. I got it for my sister many, many years ago. She never used it, so I stole it back and never told her. I figured whenever I visit like a factory that's making something for the snail, I'll take pictures on the Leica with the flash and show them to you. This section, I just wrote boots. I don't actually have a specific pair of boots to show you, so here's just a lot of different boots. Anyways, Vibergs are on their way. Oxford 145s, and then I'll probably get boots later, but very exciting. Love boots, can't live without boots. Next up is my briefcase. My girlfriend Taylor says I always say the name horribly wrong, so she insisted that she will pronounce it for us. So from my understanding of the French language, it's pronounced bleu de chouf. Don't listen to Michael when he tries to make everything sound Spanish. Uh, solo estudié espanol en la escuela secundaria. This is my Blue Day Shuff bag, and I love it. This is the Postman bag in size medium. I'm friends with Blue Day Shuff. They sent me this for free, but they never follow up or ask for a review or anything. They just say, pick what bag do you want this year? And then they mail it to me. So I don't know. Either way, they're incredibly nice people. This bag, not that it particularly matters, has never failed to 
get me a compliment. I get complimented on this bag every single time I have it out. And I have had actually three women compliment how nice it smells if it's in a room near them. I love that bag. It is stone washed vegetable tan leather, so it's very soft. It has a wool liner on the inside for your laptop. Fantastic. Also, a bag that I saw in Denmark that I chased a woman down for is this Brie bag. That bag is crazy. I haven't bought that bag yet, but that is, it's one of the most gorgeous bags I have ever seen in my entire life. That is my bag. I highly suggest you check them out. And they're super nice people. I don't know if that matters. I always say when brands are nice, I don't know if you care, but most brands that I talk to are very nice people. So it's kind of nice to support nice people, you know? And finally, the first knife I talked about is the last item because it's not just the Opinel number no. eight. It's the Opinel number no. eight Picnic Plus set or whatever it's called. I'll link it here. This makes the hood go crazy. People. 100% of the time, every time, go ballistic when they see the little add-ons that you could do with this knife, and I think it's brilliant. I don't know if this was, I don't think it was originally designed like this, but there's a little slot when the knife is folded down that you could put other things into, and you make a picnic set out of it. So I travel for work a lot, but by travel I mean I drive to New Jersey and I eat my lunch in my car, so I always bring this with me to use as my fork, knife, and spoon. And I think you'll never regret it in your entire life, and there's very few things that you'll never regret. One of them is also the five-year Midori Journal. Also, little FYI, Taylor and I are celebrating our fifth year anniversary on Friday, so I'm flying to Denmark to go see her, so I'm gonna try and upload a video on Sunday, and then I probably won't make a video for that week. But I'm gonna film a little project while I'm in Denmark, so very exciting, either way, happy five years, everybody. Some of you probably weren't even born when we started dating. Okay, goodbye. What are my demographics on YouTube?